Hello, good afternoon. I am back. Lutra FM. All in red today. Adidas tracksuit jacket there. Um, I was just wearing a vest. If I was honest, I'd just come back from the gym. No one wants to see me in a vest, trust me. Um, I don't even know why my girlfriend wants to see me in a vest, but yeah. She loves me for me, so there you go. Anyway, um, yeah, where you left us off last, we finished the season, we got it done. We managed to get promoted, so yes, 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 yes to us. Um, this is where the real hard work comes in. We are now in a better league with stronger teams, and um, we've also got teams relegated from League, not league 1. So it's not going to be as easy as the season we've just done. But it will be interesting. It will be interesting to see how our talented young players, if they can make the step up. Um, I, I don't expect all of them to make the step up. So sadly, we might have to let go of a few of our, few of my favourites, few maybe maybe a few of your favourites. But we'll see. We've just got to see how it goes, really. Um, but yeah, thank you as always. Uh, thank you to everyone that's been watching the episode so far. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I appreciate it and thank you for liking the videos. Um, I hope you like the... So basically the new format I'm doing now is I'm going to do the full version which is unedited um, where I just plonk all the bits together and then the edited version I've used this AI editor to edit it basically and get rid of all the silences and things like that. So whether that's a thing that you like I don't know. You might You might find it annoying that it keeps cutting out and stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments section if the edited versions are not very good because it will save me money in the long run so I won't use the AI editor and I'll just go back to what I was doing before. If you prefer the edited versions than the long versions, let me know. There's an audience for everything. So some might like the full version, some might like the edited version. But yeah, just let me know either way um, and all that. Like. But yeah, thank you to the person. I can't remember his username now, but I'm, I apologize, buddy. But Thank you for leaving the nice comment uh, on the latest video. I really appreciate it. But yeah, right. So we'll be back with our first part of the video in a sec. Right, so here we are. And now we're going to start this is do a season summary so far. Well, season summary um, for us, for the uh, French leagues. And then look at the other leagues like England, see who won the Premiership, see who won the Spanish League, uh, Serie A, etc. Et so, um, but yeah, first things first, we've just got to do a little summary here. So our top goal scorer was uh, Kofi, as expected, with, he said 20 league goals, oh, 20 goals altogether, actually. Um, so yeah, and then he also got the highest average rating as well. And then Matteo Pizard, who got the most assists, um, brilliant debut season. Well, I say debut season. He has been here for a while, but he most he played once a couple of years ago, then played for the reserves, and then this season he's been an integral part of the team. And there's a few clubs after him, so I'm going to get him to sign a new contract. In fact, who's after him? Uh, Grenoble are after him. Well, you can whistle Grenoble because we're not giving you him. Uh, best best pass completion was our goalie Matthew Patulet. Uh, most player of the match awards with seven was Kofi. Uh, most yellow cards was Viltard uh, with six. Most red cards was Fontaine with just the one, so that was nice. We only had one or two players with red cards this season, so that's good. Um, let's just go through this and then have a look at the rest of the squad, like so. Um, we'll do playing selection info. There we go. Uh, no, actually, this one. So, yeah, Kofi was really good. Pizard was really good this season. Um, Drame. I mean, look how many players we got on over 7 average rating. Uh, Rubinho was probably the young player of the season, I reckon, personally. Whether he will get that when we do the season's awards, I don't know. But... Yeah, so the, there might be a lot of little bits in this video today because of it, the fact that it's, it's the end of the season. So I'll do the summary here and then I'll skip forward a few days to get the end of the season summary and then show you that as well. And then we'll skip forward ahead a few weeks and stuff like that, really. Um, obviously, it's not pre-season and, and that's not going to be very uh, 
it's going to be quite quick because I'm not I'm not buying anybody, so it's just going to be a process of taking it week by week, trying to keep our best players, uh, especially these young players like Rubinho. I mean, luckily nobody's after him at the moment. He's under contract for the next three years, so we we've got him for at least a couple of years yet. Uh, what will happen to him afterwards, I don't know, but I do think he'll make the step up next season, and I think he'll only get better, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so if you look at the league table for the league table for this season, we were champions. We only won the title by three points. FC Ruin was second. It was mostly all Leans. Um, they were top or second for most of the season, and then they just completely uh, imploded. Um, but you got some strong teams in this league. You got Dijon. You've got Neo, Nims, Nancy, all former uh, and Red Star as well. The Mans. Uh, some of these are League One teams not that long ago, so it was it's not as easy as a league as we thought, but we we managed to do uh, we managed to get there in the end. Um, and then if we look at League Two, the, the the league that we're coming into this season, um, next season, sorry, um, Guin uh, Guin Gamp got promoted. I'm oh, sorry, the champions Saint Antoine were promoted. Angers. Um, are playing Paris FC in the playoffs, so one of them will go up. Bordeaux and Fortune didn't go up, so that doesn't bode well for us. So we're going to have Bordeaux, Angers, or Paris FC to contend with. We've got a Jesse O'Kane, uh, Kayen, sorry, Auxa, Bastia, Amiens, Troyes, all strong teams that used to play in League 1. Uh, oh, I'm surprised by them. Valenciennes and Laval got relegated. So, um, yeah, and then if we look at the league on, and then we'll look at the league table here. Oh, so Bordeaux potentially, um, oh, no, no, Lorient did win the playoff, so Lorient stay up. Lyon got relegated. Oh, my God. I'm shocked by that. I mean, I know that they're, they're not exactly doing well at the moment in real life, but to get relegated, that is... So they're going to be favourites to win the... Uh, league two, uh, yeah, it is pronounced league, isn't it? League, league two, league two, league two. I don't know. Anyway, the French second division, we'll call it, and then Strasbourg as well, which is another surprise because they're owned by the uh, the owners of Chelsea. So the fact that they spend that much money, let's have a look. Transfer history: they spent forty five million. I mean, granted, they sold fifty two million worth of players. Um. Oh, one of my former players at Mets. I think I think that's him. Yeah, I had him at Mets. He was really good for me. Um, on one of my previous saves with Mets, I think it was two. I think it was football managed when twenty twenty two. Wasn't that long ago, but yeah. So they they um they signed a few good players, and but they did sell what as well. So I'm surprised by them. More surprised. I'm absolutely shocked about Leon. So yeah, so these two are going to be the favourites to go up. So let's have a look at League Two. I don't think we're going to be anywhere near the playoffs. Um, I'll have a look at the season expectations in a second. But yeah, uh, so you're going to have Strasbourg, Lyon, Bordeaux, one of Angers or Paris FC. So that's like four or five teams that are way better than us already. And then you've got all these other teams here. So I think realistically, if we look at club vision, we do, they just want us to avoid relegation from League Two. So, um, and then become an established League Two team, record a League Two top finish. So they just want us to basically just just keep progressing and just get a little bit better. But next season is just to basically just stay up. So, which I think we can do. I think there's teams worse than us. I hope, um, but we'll see. But yeah, and then, right, so then let's have a look at the other leagues. Let's have a look at uh, England first. Uh, oh, no, I clicked on something else. Hold on, sorry. England, right, let's look at the championship first. Let's see who's, oh, okay, they, we haven't got the championship loaded, but hold on, it does tell us so. Uh, Leeds won. Coventry go up as well, which is good for Coventry. And then I think I think Ipswich went up as well through the playoffs by the looks of it. All right, so 
Man City won the league, which is usually expected. Liverpool second, Arsenal third, Man United fourth, Tottenham fifth, and then Chelsea sixth, Newcastle rounded up with seventh, Villa eighth. So it's basically what you would probably expect in real life, really. Any shocks? No. No real shocks in the to teams getting relegated. So um, Haaland was the top goal scorer. This is quite funny. Nunes with 17 goals. Can't score to save his life in real life, unless I'm, I've got that completely wrong, but I'm basing it on what I've seen with recent comments from Liverpool fans. They don't, uh, they've had enough of him. Um, and then, right, scroll down a bit. We're done France, Germany. Let's have a look at the German league. Uh, league table. Bayern Munich won as usual. Absolutely dominated this season. Harry Kane, as expected, as expected, was top goal scorer, but he only just done it. Uh, Philip Hoffman was runner up, and then Tim Clydendens. Um, but Bayern Munich, as you can see, just very dominant. Uh, Leroy Sane, Kingsley Coman, which makes you think that Lever Leverkusen's uh, season was way more probably amazing than you think about it, really, because. Bayern Munich, really, they win it every year, don't they, near enough. Uh, bottom surprise team in Bundesliga. Third place, Stuttgart, again, another team surprising. Got fourth, and then Red Bull and uh, Leverkusen round out the European place up. Any shocks in the relegation? Mm, Hoffenheim? Mm, probably is a bit of a shock, really, when you think about it. They've been quite good all round. Right, I think all right, Italy next. Let's have a look. Italy. Let's see we are. So Inter Milan won the uh, Serie A. They were 11 points clear of second place rivals Milan. Napoli third, Lazio fourth, Roma fifth, Juventus sixth. God, Juventus on the uh, downslider. Um, Suzulo round up the European places. Um, and then relegation, uh, teams relegated Caligari, Empoli and Genoa. Uh, Lataro and like, Martinez was the top goal scorer. Right, last one. Let's have a look at Spain. Uh, Spain. Oh, no, I did something wrong there. Uh, come on, where are you? Spain. Right, so Real Madrid won the, the uh, La Liga. Villarreal was second. Atletico Madrid third. Corona fourth, so that's nice to see that they uh they they've uh, improved. Um, they've done well in FM as they have done in real life. I mean, in real life, I think they're still top of the Spanish league. I could be wrong on that one. And then you got so God, they got a lot of teams in Europe, haven't they? Eight teams, up to eight teams. Oh, look at that, Rayo Vallecano. Fair play to you. I had a really interesting save with them many years, a couple of years ago. Um, teams relegated last Palo, uh, Palmas, Granada, and Osa Oceana. Uh, Vincius Junior was the top goal scorer, followed by Griezmann and then Rodrigo. And Jude Bellingham was the overall best player with the 7.59. Uh, I'm just going to have a look for a laugh just to see if there's any difference in, in the Scottish League. I'm assuming it'll be Celtic, won't it? Yeah, Celtic, won it, Rangers. So there you go. Right, um, actually, one last thing. Let's have a look and see who won the Champions League. If I can remember how to do this. There we go, Champions League. So, oh, bloody hell, Newcastle went to the final of the Champions League, got to the final of Champions League, losing to Barcelona 2 1. What was the semis? Newcastle beating Real Madrid 3 2. Bloody hell. And who did they beat before that? Uh, where are they? Atletico Madrid on penalties. So, fair play to them. They had, they had three Spanish teams in the, they had the Spanish team in the quarterfinals, Spanish team in the semis. And then they come and stuck just in the final. Imagine if they won that. Dominating the Spanish League. Let's have a look at this. Oh, there you go. Bruno got sent off. Um, Barcelona, it took a while for them to score though. And uh, Pedri. But fair play to Newcastle getting to the final of that. In their first season in the Champions League on this game. So uh, yeah. Barcelona winning the Champions League for the first time in eight years, nine years, I think, nine years. 
Uh, right, well, that's the season summary done for now, and then I'll be back in a sec with the our actual season review. Uh, yeah. um, so we're back. So basically, I didn't get a season review. So I don't know who my fans player of the year is. I don't know who the young player of the year is or anything like that. Weirdly, I don't know why it didn't come up. Um, so I've just fast forwarded it as up until the first game of the season. So um, I'll just give you a little summary of transfers. Obviously, we haven't signed any. Oh, I'll catch in that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Just click on that. Right. Um, yeah. So I'll just give you a little summary. Obviously, no players bought. We um, we sold uh, goalkeeper Valete. We had a decent offer for him. He's 31 years old. Um, he is good, but um, he didn't really play much when we had that goalkeeper, Patelet. Um, But he went as well because he went back to his parent club, which is Lyon. So we're going to have some new goal. We've got new goalkeepers for this season um, from our youth team and our reserves. They are going to be the new first team goalkeepers for us. Um, we've loaned... We got rid of a few players, and then we also loaned one of our talented youngsters, um, Pelizard. And then um, I just need to go back slightly. Um, we sold Makalu and Dasar. Um, we sent Mwemba on loan because he that we had a loan offer for him. We rejected it because obviously I was planning to play him, um, but he, he kicked off, so I sent him on loan. And then Lakoya went as well. Um, obviously Zolt. Let's see how Zolt went. Did let's see how he did in the end. Played nine games, got one assist, one goal. Mm, looking amazing. So we probably didn't lose much on that one. Uh, but that's about it, really. So yeah, that's that's as that's as it, like I said, the um, season summary isn't very uh, long because we're not buying anybody, so it makes it a lot easier to get through pre-season. So we just. I just basically got through. Oh, let me show you preseason before we kick off the next game. Uh, where are you? Schedule. So we only won one game in preseason. Um, we lost to Luzerne. We lost to Saint Antoine four 0 which is not giving me much hope for a good season this season. We lost three one to Nice. Uh, we kick off the season with a game versus Auxerre, and then we've got Cayenne, Bordeaux, Rouen, Bastia, and Strasbourg. Can only I, I don't think we're going to be I think we're going to get thrashed by Bordeaux and Strasbourg we might be able to get a point against Bastia or Cayenne we should be able to beat FC Ruin but then again anything can happen and God knows how we're going to do against Orcs uh, but we will see so here's our lineup for the first game of the season we've got this player here called Charlie Dosso and uh, he was mostly um, he's played a few games for us last season. He's played five games for us last season. Uh, mostly played in reserve. So now he is promoted to the first team and he's going to be our first team goalkeeper for the season. In fact, they're asking to sign a new contract. Apparently, he's happy to be back up. So, um, but we've got this uh, this player here called Mark Popov, who is very talented. He played a few games for us, I think, in the cup games. Um, but did quite well for the reserves as well. So that's our two goalkeepers for the season sorted. And uh, we're allowed more substitutions in this league, which is really good. Helps us out greatly. So they've only been able to pick five players. We've got seven players to pick. I can't. I don't know how many substitutes you can make in the in this league, in League Two. I can't remember, but I'll soon find out. So here's our lineup: Dosser in goal, Galvez is right back, Diagne and Fontaine in centre defence. Bastian is left back, Viltard and Drami in second midfield. Uh, oh yeah, this player here who was on loan, um, Getian Weisbeck, he was on loan last season with Bordeaux. He got three goals and four assists in 32 games for them. He's come back to us. So he is now a uh, first team right winger, I think, by the looks of it. And then we've got Pizard on the left, Fatara up front with Kofi. So interesting game to kick off against Orkser. We'll see how we get on. Oh, sugar. I forgot to do one thing um, before we start the game. Let me have a look at the season review. Preview, sorry. So we're meant to be 13th. 
So uh, that's where we stand. So we we should beat Bastia then because they are uh, odds. They've got bigger odds than us to do well in this. Uh, but yeah, as, you, as, I, as I predicted, Leon and Strasbourg are the favourites. Troy is a third, Angers a fourth, Bordeaux is fifth. I'm surprised that Bordeaux is only fifth. I thought they'd be higher. And uh, yeah, the team of the season, by the looks of it, is mostly going to be dominated by uh, Strasbourg and Leon players. It's, in fact, it's all Strasbourg and Leon players. I don't think there's anybody else. Are there any other players meant to be key players here? Uh, Weisbeck. That's it, Weisbeck. Okay. Right, let's get, get backward to the game. Sorry about that. Right, first highlight of the game. Bastion with the throw in to Bazaar. Bazaar loses the ball though. Oh, get it back though. Headed uh, by Fontaine. Drame. Beautiful little pass. Weisbeck. Let's see what he can do. Good little pass. Oh, Kofi, unfortunately, skied it over the bar. But interesting start. Oh, we've already got an injury. Uh, Fatal's injured, so Rubinho Vaz is thrown in there. Let's see what he can do. Oh, and we've got another injury. We've got a goalkeeper injury. Oh, that's great. That's what we want. Yeah. Ah, not the best of news. Our first new team, our, our new first team goalkeeper gets injured in the first game. God knows how long for. At least we've got Popoff. We have got quite a few goalkeepers in the reserves and new team, luckily. But yeah, having to make two substitutions already in the first half is not good. Oh, balls, I pressed the wrong thing then. Um, I shall be moving to my girlfriends in about a month's time. So I will have a different layout. You won't just see this backdrop and then my this wall might look a bit more presentable. Um, I'm also going to start going, hopefully going to some local football in the area. There's a, there's a team called Cadbury's, Cadbury, sorry, Cadbury Athletic. Um, and they have, they, they use this, they are in this, uh, just Google Cabri Athletic, Athletics Ground. It, it just has this unique uh, little building in the middle of the, by the ground and as part of the ground, sorry. It looks very nice. I've, I've, um, me and my girlfriend's drove past it a few times and it's, it's like I said, it's just such a beautiful building. Um, and I've just thought to myself, I'm going to go there. And it's only about an hour walk, so I can walk to the game, get the bus back, I suppose. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Um, but, yeah. Also, I'm hoping you're liking the, the small clips I'm putting on YouTube shorts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Would appreciate it. It's, uh, a few of them have gone, re have gone really well. Uh, not bad. Nil-nil. Not bad for first game of the season. Oh, God. He's out for five to seven weeks. Means I've got to look at promoting somebody else from the right. I need to first of all, I need to do this. So we've got one goalkeeper in pop off, right? So let's just hold on, let's look at the second team first. Let's just promote somebody from there, promote him, and we'll also promote him as well, right? And then that's that. So we've got. One, be, one goalkeeper left in the reserves, but it's fine. We need to concentrate on the first team more than the second team at the moment. We can always put them back um, once our other goalies are back. So, yeah, right, when's the next game? Okay, so what I'll do then is, obviously, as always, I'll come back and you'll see the next game. Right, we're back and uh, we've got our lineup for the next game. We are playing... Kayan or Kane. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I assume it's Kayan. Well, no, I don't know. Sayan? Sayan? Because there's a C, not a K. But I think you pronounce it as a K, don't you? Kayan. Oh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section, please. I need to learn better. And what I want to try and do is learn French better. 
or how you pronounce things. I need to go into Google Translate or something and figure out figure out how you pronounce it. Right, so here's our lineup. Poplov, Popov, sorry. We've got two. We've got a second new goalkeeper of the season in the second game of the season. So going well. Um, Galvez is right back. Diagne Fontaine centre defence. Bastian on the left as usual. Drame and Vieltard in the centre of midfield. Weisbeck and Pizard. Claytar and Kofi. So pretty much unchanged team other than the goalie. Playing at home as well. So hopefully the home advantage will help us. First highlight goes to us already, which is good. Oh, oh, this could be interesting. I think I was slightly in the box, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We've got VAR in this league. Yep, penalty. Get in. Go on, Kofi. Get your first goal of the season, son. Come on. You got it. Yes, get in. Kofi with the uh, first, with his first goal of the season. A well placed penalty. If I've ever seen one. One nil up. That's good to see. Nice bit of passing going on. We look confident in this game. Weisbeck. Weisbeck looks like a really good player, to be honest. Look at him. Look at that. Look at the techers on them. Oh. Yeah, still one nil. Five shots on uh one on target, one point two one point four six now. XG. Playing it out from the back here, Fontaine very calmly with the ball. Passes it to Drame. Drame now looks across, gives it to Pizard. Um Kofi. Oh, good save by the goalie. Weisbeck trying to keep the goal uh trying to catch the goalie off there. Weis Weisbeck with the Corner, loops it over. Saved by the goalie there. Uh, corner to us. Look at that. I was a bullet of a header. That one was Kofi with his second goal of the game. Second goal of the season. Aiming for it, looking for a hat-trick by the looks of it. Fontaine. Oh, what a ball by Fatar to Kofi. Galvez gives it to Viltar. Viltar spins across. Oh, bizarre just over there. Right, annoyingly. Oh, no, I thought Kofi had to come off then. Uh, Fatar had to come off. We've put Vaz on. Vaz with the ball now. Passes it to Drame. Bastion with an over-the-top ball to Pizard. Pizard keeps the, the ball in possession. Looks for the inside pass to Drame. 1-2 with... Uh, well, well, there you go. A little couple of 1-2s going on there. Vaz back to Pizard. Pizard with the shot. Get in. What a convincing win. I wasn't expecting this. 3-0. 11 shots, 5 on target. 1.88 XG. Vaz already contributing to the game with the assist. Just over by the opposition there. Could have asked for a better first team uh, first half performance by my lads. Corner. Ooh, just headed past the post there. All right, we're currently second now. God knows if that's going to last. Right, Pizard's injured. So, put on Dan, uh, yeah, Deo. He hasn't been in the team for ages. He he uh, he toiled off a bit at the end of last season. He got replaced by Pizard and uh, couldn't get back in the team. Get in. Kofi with his hat trick. Kofi was. Uh, fourth choice to be top goal scorer for the season, according to the odds makers. So uh, he's doing well to prove them wrong at the moment. Uh, 
hopefully we can keep a clean sheet here. That'll give great confidence to the new goalie pop off. Oh, look at that. Baz, get in. That's what we like to see. Both of our strikers scoring. Baz also showing that he can uh, make the step up. Weisbeck is knackered by the looks of it, but we can't take him off. Oh, good save, pop off. Right, they've got a free kick. They're trying to, uh, for some reason, they're trying to get back into this game. I think it's a little bit too late for that. That was a beautiful pass, though. Why don't more people do that type of free kick? I don't, I don't understand. Just do a through ball to one of your players and he runs onto it. Good save. Get in, pop off. Sorry, I'm just going to give some praise here. There we go. Right, head of that out. Get in. That's all right. That's what we want to see. Keep that clean sheet alive. Absolute dominating performance there. I was not expecting that. Great result. Hold on, Passard. Injured. Oh, he's not injured for long. It's all right. Yep, give Kofi some much needed praise. Right then, what I'm going to do then is um, call it a day for this one. And um, then what I'll do is, um, actually, no, I will. I will call it a day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Uh, and then I'm just going to, sorry, uh, this is not very professional video editing by me, just leaving this in. There we go. I'll just move me across there. Hello, Baxter. Baxter's woken up a little bit. There he is, by the way, my beautiful boy. Uh, just a little side story before I go. Um, Baxter met another little dashund who was about the same age as him, and they literally fell in love with each other. They were playing for at least 10 minutes non-stop, and they both literally were whimpering and crying when they when we when we both decided, well, the woman that had this dog, she had to get on the bus. Um, and they were both whimpering and crying, bless them. It was so sweet. I've got the video recording. Um, I recorded a couple of minutes of them and showed it to my girlfriend. And she just she just thought it was the cutest thing ever. They were just so happy playing with each other because unfortunately Baxter he's a little dog and it just seems to scare other dogs, especially older dogs. They don't want to know, so it's just a bit sad. I just want Baxter to have a little. If I had the money, I'd get another little Dashen so he could have a little mate to play with. Um, but it's not to be. But anyway, right. Enough of getting sidetracked by real life. Um, thank you as always. And I'll be back next week with some more uh, FC Socio Youth Only Rise of the Lions goodness. Uh, in the meantime, I will be posting short videos, highlights and stuff like that. So feel free to give them a watch if you don't mind. And as always, feel free to subscribe, like the videos and leave a comment. It's all appreciated. It all helps me in the grand scheme of things. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and all the best. Bye.